Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know when a charged particle moves in a magnetic field, it experiences a force. We call that force as Lorentz force or magnetic Lorentz force. In this video, we are going to discuss about the motion of a charged particle under cross electric and magnetic field. For that, I consider two metal plates placed parallel to each other. This is one metal plate, this is another metal plate. If you look at them, these two metal plates are kept parallel to each other. The first metal plate is set to have positive charge. They carry positive charge whereas this metal plate carry negative charge. We know around a charged particle or a charged object an electric field exists. So here also it produces electric field. That electric field starts from positive charge and ends at a negative charge. If it starts from positive charge and ends at a negative charge. So what I am drawing now is nothing but electric field lines which constitutes electric field. The direction of electric field is uh, given by the arrow mark. This arrow mark represents the direction of electric field. So I denote it by letter E with star. Then to produce the, the crossed fields, now I will show in what direction the magnetic field act. Here I consider that the magnetic field is acting perpendicular to the surface of this board in the inward direction. Okay, we'll see. We know whenever the magnetic field acts inward, we represent it by, it by the symbol, this kind of symbol. We represent it by crosses. This cross marks represent the, the inward magnetic field, as you can see. Magnetic field. So here, if you look at the diagram carefully, you will find that the magnetic field is acting inward and the electric field acts downward. Here, electric field and magnetic field are acting perpendicular to each other. Now, I denote the magnetic field by letter B with tap. So, electric field and magnetic field are acting perpendicular to each other. So this uh, constitutes uh, crossed fields. Now in one such uh, crossed electric and magnetic field, if uh, a charge, a charged particle moves, suppose uh, this is a charged particle, it moves uh, in this direction. Here this uh, arrow line represents uh, the direction of velocity. So, if a charged particle carrying charge Q having mass m and travels with velocity v, it is crossed the field. Means it will experience two kinds of forces. One force is due to the electric field. So, 
here so the electric field it experiences coulomb's force so coulomb's force coulomb's force experienced experienced by the charged particle is nothing but eq eq yeah eq or q e vector whatever you can take i can this way q e vector this is the, the coulomb's force experienced by the charged particle due to the presence of electric field now next uh, due to the presence of magnetic field the charged particle experiences magnetic lorentz force magnetic lorentz force lorentz force the experience to buy the charged particle is the given in this manner you see is the magnetic lorentz force we know the expression for magnetic lorentz force which is nothing but this q which is nothing but the magnitude of a charged particle multiplied with the cross product of velocity and magnetic field this is the expression for lorentz force or magnetic lorentz force so these two forces are acting on the charged particle so it moves in this manner okay here i want to say one thing the charged particle is moving in a direction perpendicular to both the electric field as a magnetic field okay here the magnetic field acts inward this way and the electric field acts downward and uh, the charged particle move in this direction in this direction see these three are perpendicular to each other this man right this acts inward this magnetic field electric field acts downward and uh, the charged particle move in this direction so if you look at the the angle between them you will find they are mutually perpendicular to each other clear okay now i go ahead now uh according to this the charged particle experiences both electric field um sorry both the coulomb's force as well as lorentz force so the net force acting on the charged particle net force on the charged particle particle is nothing but is obtained if we combine these two how to get that let's do it i take this uh, net force as f vector it is equal to the sum of these two forces q e vector plus so Lorentz force is that plus q v vector cross b vector. Now I'm going to add this two. So what I'll get if I do so, I get this v f vector will be equal to here. Q is common in both cases, so it is taken out. Then e vector. Plus v vector cross b vector. 
So this is the, the net force, the total force acting on the moving charged particle in the crossed field. Okay. Now suppose the magnitude of Lorentz force and the magnitude of Coulomb's force are equal, then the situation will be something like this. No? If these two forces will have the same magnitude, then we can write a taper which is the magnitude as EQ, what is the equal to the magnitude of Lorentz force, then this can be as BQ, B. Now, I make a slight uh, uh, variation to this. In the place of V, I take it as V naught. Here, these two forces are equal to each other in equilibrium. So, what do I do? Write this here. Yeah. In equilibrium. In the equilibrium. When these two forces are equal, you see what will happen? The charge particle will move with the velocity v naught. Now, on uh, these two sides, we cancel the similar terms. And what do we get is nothing but this. E equals to b multiplied with v naught. Then from here, v naught values are obtained to be equal to E upon B. Now I box this and this uh, provides us the velocity of uh, the charged particle moving in the crossed fields. Yeah. So here, suppose there is a, a charged particle which uh, moves in velocity V. Which moves with velocity v instead of a v naught. Then what will happen to one such charged particle? Let us find out. Now suppose if there is a charged particle moving with velocity v naught or a velocity which is greater than v naught. In such case, it will come out of this crossed field. Let me show this to you here. I take it as a case one. Case one. If the velocity of the charge particle is greater than V naught, in such case, what will happen? The charge particle will not move in a straight line. In such case, it will deflect towards the the Lorentz force. Remember this. It will deflect towards the Lorentz force. So here, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Suppose uh, I take the charge particle as a positive, a positive charge. If the charge particle carry positive charge, then in such case, it will experience magnetic Lorentz force acting upward in the upward direction. The magnetic Lorentz force will act in the upward direction. So this magnetic Lorentz force is that BQ B magnetic Lorentz force. And the Coulomb's force or the charged particle will act along the direction of the electric field. So it will act in the downward direction. This is a the Coulomb force, which is represented as E Q. Yeah. So from uh, this diagram, it is clear that the Lorentz force acts perpendicular to the magnetic field. Here, the magnetic field acts inward, whereas the Lorentz force acts upward. And uh, the Coulomb's force acts in the direction of the electric field. And uh, the velocity. Direction of velocity 
from the diagram is said to act in this direction. This is the, the direction of velocity. Clear? Yeah. This is what I understand. E vector and B vector. Uh, just we can take the, the memory here. If we take the memory, we need to mention this. Yeah. This is a, the Nordic Lloyd's force and Coulomb's force acts. So, if it is the case, then when the velocity of the particle is greater than v0, in such case, the charged particle will deflect towards deflect deflects in in the direction of Lorentz force okay What if V is lesser than V0? Let's uh, find out that. I take it as a case 2. Case 2. No? Case 2. But uh, V is taken as lesser than V0. So in such cases, The charge particle deflect deflects in the direction of Coulomb's force. Coulomb's force. Okay. And the third case, if Is a three. If v equals to v naught, in such case, there will be no deflection. Remember this. There will be no deflection here. When the charged particle transit velocity v naught, then it do not get deflected. Okay, this is a this arrangement in which a electric field and magnetic field act the perpendicular to each other is a referred as velocity selector. Why do, you, why do you call this one as the velocity selector? Because when a, a charged particle moves with a particular velocity v0 which is equal to the ratio of electric field and magnetic field then it will not get deflected. Okay, And here the charged particles which have uh, this particular velocity alone will come out of uh, that velocity center and remaining particles will get uh, deflected now, as uh, discussed here ok this is the principle uh, behind the working of Bain bridge mass spectrometer in which uh, this principle is used the principle of velocity center is used to select the uh, isotopes of a particular Velocity. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.